How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be talking about tuple structs in Rust. So I previously made a video on normal structs which I suggest you take a look at uh, before this one but I just made a struct called color with the members red, green and blue and we're going to do the same thing in this video but with a tuple struct instead. So a tuple struct doesn't actually have the names of the members so you won't find red, green and blue but you will find just the data types of the members. We can start by getting outside of the main function and begin with the struct keyword. This is followed by the name of the struct. In our case, it'll be color. We then put parentheses and inside these, we just specify the data types of all our members separated by a comma. So we'll be using U8, U8 and U8. This matches with this right here and we're just saying we have three members and they're all unsigned 8-bit integers which mean in our case red, green and blue. We can now create a color in the main function using the let keyword and we can just say okay red so we're making a new variable called red equal to a color and the value is 255 0 and 0 and that's our struct all made. So now we can use it in a print line statement, just like this. We can say red is, and then comma separate these, just like that. Now to pass in these values, we need to use the dot syntax, followed by the index of the value. So it'll be 0, 1, and 2, just like normal tuples. So red dot 0, red dot 1, and red dot 2. That should display 255, 0, and 0. Let's give it a go. And we see 255, 0 and 0. Perfect. Now what if you wanted to change a value of one of the members? Just say we want to make uh, this into 60 for example instead. What we can do is just say okay red dot 2 so the second index that one right there equals 60. We can try and run this one and we get a problem we cannot change the value of that member. So we need to actually specify the ta the, um, the tuple struct as being mutable using the MUT keyword in the variable definition. We can now try run it again and we see the 255, 0 and 60, that's what we expected. But that is all I have for tuple structs in Rust. Thank you for watching, see you later.